Have you ever dreamed of flying? What if I told you that it's possible to fly with your feet still on the ground? Would you believe me? FPV stands for first person view. This is what makes it possible to create the feeling of flying while you are safely on the ground. It is possible due to a camera that is placed on the drone, along with a video transmitter that sends a video back to special goggles that you wear to see what the camera sees. This way, it feels like you are sitting inside the drone while you control it. Though most people only post high definition footage from a GoPro mounted on top of the drone, making beautiful videos, in reality, the pilot only sees analog video which can be recorded from your goggles with a DPR. Though not as good as HD footage, most find it still allows for a great out-of-body experience. Though many pilots make it seem easy, piloting one of these FPV drones is harder than it seems. This requires controlling on three axes along with the throttle in order to get it to do what you want. This requires a lot of practice and can be disorienting to start with. Most people in this hobby start by buying a ready-to-fly model or building their own personalized FPV drone. This consists of getting a carbon fiber frame, motors, electronic speed controllers or ESCs which control the motors, a flight controller or the brains of the drone, a receiver that talks to your radio, and most importantly the FPV camera along with a video transmitter. This makes each drone unique as there are hundreds of parts and combinations that can be used. Because they are so configurable, you can control each one of them using only one radio and pair of FPV goggles. These powerful machines are powered by lithium polymer batteries which last from 2 to 5 minutes depending on how you fly. The use of FPV drones falls under two main categories, racing and freestyle. Drone racing consists of going around a course racing others much like NASCAR. This is becoming more popular as organized groups are formed and international coverage of racing events occurs such as the Drone Racing League on ESPN or Drones Champion League on Eleven Sports Network. Locally, there are chapters of the standardized organization called MultiGP, which can be found all over the world. This is a dynamic organization which changes as new technologies are made and the hobby evolves. The other style is freestyle, where the pilot uses the drone as their paintbrush and the pilot's imagination is the limit. It can be a form of expression or just a way to escape. With hundreds of freestyle videos out there, no two flights are the same. Whether you get into the FPV hobby for racing or for freestyle flying, the community is very helpful and friendly and you will feel like you have a, become a part of something bigger. So what are you doing? Go out and have fun. But remember this, the motto of the hobby tends to be build, fly, crash, repeat. <laughs>